All right, I'm going to take you through a few of the assignments in our first unit of code HS in the VR um, curriculum, uh, starting with the uh, creative floor. Um, so um, we've already gone through how to transform a sphere. Um, that was um, in one of the first videos that I did. Um, so we're going to start off by um, creating a floor and then transferring that floor into a wall and then um, going on from there. Um, so one thing I always want to point out is that you, in this assignment, we're supposed to create a floor um, and it says to create a floor, um, make goal. It says create the ground by making a plane, 10 by 10, make it brown, put it in the position of zero, zero, zero. Um, and to create a floor, we make the rotation on the X axis. So one thing I want to do is to know that you can always go into the documents and see that there are different ways to, to add in. Let me go ahead and zoom in on this because I know it'd be kind of hard to see. Um, you can add in, you can, it'll show you how to add different things. So this says add a plane. So it'll give you instructions on how to do something like add a plane. So we're going to use a plane to create a wall, a uh, floor. Um, some of you might wonder, what is a plane? What are you talking about, Ms. Boche? What is a plane? Um, we think of like a plane as being an airplane or um, maybe something we might think of like a plane as being um, uh, the planes on the, um, on the fields or the planes in the country or something like that. But a plane is really um, a surface um, that usually work on um, in uh, when we create and a plane is really a flat surface usually so it's so thin you can if it's right in front of you you can't see it um, so it's a flat surface if you're off to the side of it you can see it if it's in front of you you can see it um, if it's in front of you this way you can see it if it's in front of you this way you can see it if it's in front of you um, this way right in front of you you can't see it if there was below you can see it if it's off to the side, you can see it. But if it's this way right in front of you, you really can't see it. So it's just that thin that if it's right in front of you, you can't see it. So um, in the add a plane, it, of course, anything you do has to have two tags, an open tag and a closing tag. And all of the elements that we need to add for the plane are in the, um, in the opening tag. We are going to go ahead and go down to this next part here that tells us all of the elements that we need to put inside of that. I'm just going to go ahead and grab that whole uh, example, I'm going to grab it and plop it right inside my scene area. And let me go ahead and move this over in my scene. Now, remember, everything that we if anything that we want to show up in our scene and in, inside of our uh, world. Um, has to go between the A scenes. So inside the body, from body to body, scene to scene. Um, if we want something to show up in there, it, it has to be inside the scene. Um, if we put it outside of the scene or below the scene, it will not show up. Um, we have an A plane, our opening tag, and inside of that are the elements. And um, then we have our closing tag. Um, always remember any opening tag must have a closing tag. This is our closing tag. You got that? Um, so our plane has a position, make sure it's spelled right. We have an X, a Y, and then we've added in a Z. So we know an X is side to side, a Y is up and down, and a Z is away from us. And way in, uh, away from us is a negative, behind us is a positive. Um, and then a rotation. So the way that it comes into it, so they gave us an example of having it be um, position of zero, zero, minus four, meaning it's away from us a little bit. We're going to make that zero, zero, one according to this assignment. So if I go back to the assignment, it says to do zero, zero, zero. So let's go ahead and do zero, zero, zero. Oops, get here and do zero, zero, zero. Um, now for the rotation for a floor, um, it's, um, you're in any plane that you have, um, it's going to go, uh, up, uh, straight up and down. When you create a plane, it creates it straight up and down in front of you. Sorry. 
turned out in front of you. And when you lay it down on the on the x axis, so you're on the x axis here. When you lay it down 90 degrees, minus 90 degrees, it falls down in front of you 90 degrees. So on the x, and if you do 90 degrees on the x, it falls down towards the minus 90 degrees. And so that's what we're doing for our, our ground in front of us, minus 90 degrees. And so whatever the height was is going to be now in front of us. So um, that's kind of what we have now. So it's weird because it's like, well, the height is, goes this way. That's not really high, but that's what we're using. Imagine that the height is now this way. So it was this high when we rotate at 90 degrees. It's just like if you're if you're tall and then you lay down, you're I'm 5'9. When I lay down, I'm still 5'9. I'm just going this way. So think about it that way. Just because you're laying this way doesn't mean you're not 5'9 anymore, or I'm not 5'9 anymore. I'm still 5'9. I'm just laying down. So think about it that way. Um, so now it says I want this to be, um, it says to make the plane 10 by 10. So I'm gonna do 10 and it's meters, 10 meters by 10 meters. And um, the last thing is, and it's tricky here, it says make the ground brown. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this word brown and I'm going to put it in here in place of this hexadecimal color. Let's go ahead and place that in there. And oddly enough, when I do this, it's going to look kind of red. And sure enough, now I'm going to go ahead and hold my click over here and I'm going to use the arrows on my keyboard to kind of run this back. And I'm going to see this um, looking like a plane. So I'm looking, I see my my marker or my um, shape on the ground and I can go sideways and look at it, you know, look at it sideways and it's kind of going there. So I have that shape. I have my ground. Yay. All right. So the next one is to make a wall. Um, it's going to ask me to copy the floor and bring it over. So I'm going to make sure that when I copy this, I don't just copy just the, I have to make sure I copy both the opening and closing of the plane. So let me co copy this. I have to bring it over to my next assignment. So I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to go ahead and check my code. I know it was okay. Check my code. And then I'm going to go ahead and say submit and continue. Yay, I passed. <laughs> so submit and continue. And then in the next assignment, it's going to tell me that I need to copy my ground. So I copied it. And oh, it's already there. <laughs> Let's get rid of this. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all this. Because you want to see me do it, right? <laughs> okay, so in this assignment, it says, hey, Bring your floor over and then we need to create a wall. So um, let's go ahead and paste in my floor. Paste in my floor. Paste in my floor. Ooh, that took a minute. Um, paste in my floor and now I need to create a wall. So um, I need to create my wall. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and paste in my floor again and then change it to be my wall. So I have my floor here. And now I'm going to change this one to be my wall. Now you think, Ms. Blaschay, what are you doing? You have two floors. Well, uh, I I do have two floors, yes. But um, one, I'm just going to change. Since they're both planes, they're they're both a plane, right? So um, a wall, and they're both, one's just going to stand right back up again and to be a, a wall. And then the other one's going to be the ground. So in order for that to stand back up, I just need to get rid of this rotation here. Make that back to no rotation. Some people just get rid of the rotation altogether, like they actually just delete this whole rotation here. Um, I like to leave it in there. I don't know for me. I mean, it could leave room for error, but I like it in case maybe I want to turn my wall to the side. <laughs> and so I like to leave it in there just in case. Um, and then, um, it does give me a different position though. Cause I don't necessarily want the wall like smack dab in front of me here. I want it to be away from me. So it says to give me the position of zero five minus five. I'm actually going to go right over here and copy it. I love to copy, um, when it's appropriate, do not copy when it's not appropriate. You will get in trouble. Um, so that wall position is here. Um, and I'm going to change the color because, um, I don't want it to, mix up with the color that I have. So let's just go and change this to blue. B -L -U. Okay, so um, that is my color there. And so if I go and run that, I will see, oh, what did I do wrong? So um, I might need to hit clear and then run again. Yay, something about that. So I'm going to move, I'm going to um, move back. The other thing you can do is actually hit open and it will actually show up in your whole screen. 
and you can see it in your full screen. That's what's really fun. The other thing too is this is a URL that you could actually give to like your parents to, this is like really on the web, truly on the web. This is your website. So you could actually give that URL to your parents and you know send it to them and say, hey, mom, dad, look what I did. Grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, whatever, cousin. Hey, Cuddy, look what I did. <laughs> you can use it in a VR headset if you want to. All right, so create a wall. Um, so um, that is, that's that. Okay, we're good with that. You got your wall, you got your plane. Um, if I wanted to rotate this wall to the side, maybe turn it to, maybe turn it to the side. Let's say I want to turn it to the side. I would just put it 90 on the side and then it would turn it to the side. Um, where did it go? Uh, it went to um, not that way. Oh, you know what? Because it's I'm like so not. Oh, we have to hit clear and then run. And yeah, I'm lying. I'm lying to you. <laughs> We're cutting this video back there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 